Hey everybody, First Store Hacker back again, and I just wanted to show you guys my budget setup. Because I believe this setup is good enough that you can acquire cryptocurrency, but you're not going to make a whole lot of money on it if you dump, like, weekly or daily. Uh, this is more of a long game crypto machine, and it's a little friend here, but... Basically, I've been using this for the last couple of months to mine cryptocurrency since I got back into mining. And I've acquired some parts along the way, but this is probably the most basic low-budget crypto miner that you can probably slap together that's anywhere near profitable. Now, with the Raptorium mining, I have managed to get a lot more profitability out of this old Optiplex. Now, this is an old Dell Optiplex business machine. It's got a 3770 non-K... CPU in it. So it's an i7 with four cores and eight threads. So I can mine eight threads at around 425 to 450 hashes a second on Raptorium. And then my graphics processor is a MSI 6 gigabyte 1660 Ti OC, which from what I've read is a pretty decent graphics card for the 1660 Ti line. But this whole machine, I'm probably, like, I can't even talk about the price of the graphics card because I got such a phenomenal deal on it. I got it out of a broken machine um, that was basically everything inside of it was broken except for this graphics card. So I kind of, I made profit on buying old broken machines, but if that graphics card was in there, it wasn't in there, I'd have been kind of backwards on that investment. But anyway... With the 1660 Ti and the i7 3770K, I am making probably about three and a half dollars to four dollars a day on this machine. Now, the GPU used to be the thing that made all the money. It was the most profitable thing in the machine. But since I started doing Raptorium mining, the CPU is actually more profitable than the, uh, than the GPU. That and the price of GPU or the profitability of GPU mining has drastically gone down lately. So, to add a little more CPU hash to it, we have these little business machines. And these things can be easily acquired. This is a, another Dell Optiplex. This is the micro form factor. So, it's basically a laptop crammed into a really tiny PC. It uses laptop RAM, laptop drives, a mobile processor. And this gets at about, I don't know, 160 ish hashes a second. And that's not bad on Raptorium. It's got four threads that it's mining on. And this makes maybe a nickel or a dime a day after you take off the power cost, but it's still wildly more uh, profitable on Raptorium than it was on XMR. Because when I'm mining Monero, the L3 cache limitations only make this mine on two threads instead of the full four that the uh, Raptorium, um, yeah, Raptorium will uh, mine on. Same with the i7. It would on Monero. It would do four threads because it was limited by L3 cache. But I can do eight on this machine. So all together, like I have four of these machines up and running. Uh, the other three are placed strategically up in the living room to uh, kind of keep a little passive heat going up there since winter's coming. But all in all, doing you know business uh, pallet deals and going to the used computer store and the computer swaps and stuff like that, I've managed to get this whole system and these little mini PCs and everything I'm into for under $500. So it's already returned on investment for me, uh, mostly thanks to early mining of Raptorium, early mining of some GPU coins. I've managed to get out, and this machine owes me nothing except for the power now. So that will make it a little bit more profitable, but as difficulties on coins go up, net hash rate, uh, it's going to get less and less profitable. I'm actually considering right now turning off this 1660 Ti and selling it. Because I can take that $350 or $400, which is ridiculous for this card, uh, take that money, sell this card to a gamer who's actually going to get a lot more fulfilling use out of it, and just take that money and dump it into the crypto market and buy cryptocurrency directly. I don't generally do that, but right now with profitability, it seems like the best direction to go.
Uh, another thing that uh, I don't see on like most people showing their minor rigs is a little fire protection. I just have a little binder clip here. You see, it's a binder clip, and I got the smoke alarm clicked to it. Because let's be honest, I'm using used equipment, and it's not an if, it's when something's going to release the smoke monster. So I'd rather have a smoke alarm down here that's going to warn me, and it's going to be loud enough to set off my security camera down here in the basement to set off the audio detection and warn me, even if I'm not at home, that there might be something wrong with my mining rig. But anyway, if you want to get into crypto, well, at least crypto mining, uh, if you can find a GPU that's profitable, go ahead. I'm highly recommending doing CPU mining right now because that's pretty much the only avenue that a home miner can get some uh, decent profit on without investing $10,000 into their machines. But pick up one of these units, throw in a graphics card. I added an extra fan that kind of blows down in between the uh, heat sink in the back of the graphics card, keeping this aluminum GPU plate here nice and cool. Like, I can put my hand over it. There's a little heat blowing out from here, but nothing, you know, it's barely warm here with this little fan going. But anyway, that's all I have for you today. Until next time, build stuff, have fun, and happy mining.